here from Rhythm and Tunes Piano School. Just wondering if I am. Hi, it's Joe here from Rhythm and Tunes Piano School. Just um, thought I'd briefly uh, come on tonight. I have a few little highlights to share with you from the week so far. It's only Tuesday and it's already been a really um, amazing week in the studio and uh, I just really love it when um, when students come in and they they share uh, stories with me about um, how music is impacting their lives, how, about how playing music is impacting their lives, their family life, um, and um, hopefully their overall uh, general sense of well-being as well. So uh, I had um, had somebody tell me uh, yesterday uh, that uh, the choir that she conducts, so she um, has a couple of choirs I think that she conducts, uh, that the uh, pianist had um, fallen ill and they had no one else to turn to except her and uh, she is a trained singer and obviously um, directs choirs as well but she uh, certainly uh, previous to coming through uh, the, um, the program here didn't have the chord knowledge so she actually said to me that there's no way she could have um, uh, sat in for the uh, existing uh, pianist who had gone off sick without um, without coming through the uh, component part of this program because she's been able to, um, you know, uh, accompany her choir as well as direct it. So she's obviously a very multi-talented uh, person. And um, that was just really, really, really exciting to hear that uh, she's got the ability to do that, um, you know, just given the, uh, the, the chord knowledge that she's... Uh, she's developed as a, a result of, um, of going through the program here. That just makes me feel as though um, all is right with the world. <laughs> uh, that, um, and it's really, really uh, very rewarding to just to think that um, all I'm doing is facilitating the process. She's the one who's putting all the effort in and all the work in and all the time in. Uh, but um, yeah, so I was really, really pleased to hear that. Uh, I had uh, another student send me this um, really, really amazing video of her playing with her son. So her son is uh, apparently a professional uh, jazz uh, performer. He plays the trumpet and um, she was playing a, a piece that we do in level one of the program, a basic little piece that which she uh, made sound fabulous. And it was made uh, sound all the more uh, fabulous with um, with her son improvising uh, across the top of it. So that was really exciting to receive. Uh, she often sends me uh, little videos of her uh, um, uh, in an ensemble, you know, uh, playing situation with him, and um, just really love the fact that. Uh, that mother and son can share their music with each other. That's just incredibly fulfilling and rewarding um, for me as well. And when she sent through this little video, as you know, one of the mo my most favourite things uh, with this whole entire system that we teach, that I teach here, is the idea of creativity and composing and improvising and mixing and matching and seeing what a little bit of this sounds like with a little bit of that. And so um, just the, the simple um, fact that I received that video of her playing with her son made me, uh, it just sparked some, some ideas in my mind. And so I've passed my ideas on to uh, some students over the last couple of days and I'm really hoping that that, that sparks, um, you know, some creative ideas in their mind. So it's just like this extended um, musical tapestry uh, and you know, just passing passing the baton really to see uh, what idea can spark another idea. So there's nothing more uh, important, I I don't think, in this life to create. I believe that uh, my personal belief is that we are created to create, and there's nothing more um, 
uh, fulfilling and sustainable or sustainable, you know, something that sustains us, fills us up, fills our cup, all of that, uh, then actually creating our own music at the keyboard. So, so um, I was really excited to, uh, to have those ideas sparked as a result of her sending that video through. So I've also had some kids come through with some incredible improvisations that they do as well in their lessons. So um, just incredible the sound that we can get out of beginner students. Um, and, uh, and they really love it as well. So, um, you know, it's a really, really great thing to, to encourage. In fact, my own son, I have managed to inspire, believe it or not. It's always difficult. Um, uh, well, is it difficult? I love teaching my own children, but it's different. <laughs> it is a different um, uh, process to, to teaching other people's children. I'm sure you'll agree. But even with him, uh, managed to, I wrote a little, um, a little post this morning on this page about uh, just trying to find an accompaniment project for him. And we went through idea after idea after idea and he just wasn't really, you know, interested in any of the songs that I was, um, you know, suggesting. And uh, finally, my eldest daughter mentioned Minecraft music and all of a sudden we had an idea. And uh, then I couldn't get him off the piano last night um, in time to get him into, you know, <laughs> he missed his bedtime because he was playing this song because he was so excited about it. So that was really great. Um, tonight I've had um, three students come in. They all had exactly the same framework to work within. I gave them the left hand of, uh, actually, Fair Elise, uh, to uh, see what sounded like with the right hand of another piece that we learn early in the program called Night Storm. And even though they've all had exactly the same framework, they've all come in with something, a composition that sounds completely different. So, so I really love the fact that um, we're all individuals and uh, we're all going to um, create differently. So I think that's about it for the um, student stories from what I wrote a few notes here. Um, if, uh, if you are interested in the next round of, um, of Music on Steroids, that's starting at the end of April. Uh, and um, just reach out on this page. I will be running an uh, introductory session Thursday morning. I don't know the time yet. But if you're interested in that, I can let you know uh, further details. And um, let me know what you're creating in your life. It might not be to do with music but how how do you meet that need um, which we all have to create is it is it um, photography is it um, crocheting is it you know um, needlework is it um, I don't know you tell me I'd love to know uh, what what your um, what you what you love doing that is uh, your original piece I guess what 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 do you make that's original um, let me know in the comments below and um, I will see you on here next time all right take care for now bye